Hello everyone and welcome to CenterStack. In today's video, I'm going to give you guest users overview in CenterStack. Guest users are users outside of the team users domain, but receive file or folder shares from team users. Guest users can be given read and write permissions by an admin. Every license that is allocated to a tenant will allow it to create three additional free guest users accounts. Guest user accounts can be created during sharing file or a folder, or they can be created by an admin from user manager under guest users manager. I have logged in using my partner portal credentials and I am in the dashboard. And inside the dashboard from the left pane, I am going to select the hosted center stack option. I had total 15 licenses. I have five user licenses left. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new tenant. I've already entered the information here to make the video go a little quicker. And here where it says user license counts instead of seven, I'm going to just leave it to zero. So I have, I'm allocating three licenses to this user and each user will get 10 gigabyte storage coda. As you could see, our tenant is created. I'm going to go ahead and select license the tenant and I'm going to select OK and our tenant is licensed. From the menu selection button, I'm going to select the login option here and I'm going to log in. I have logged in using the tenant credentials. I'm going to go ahead and share a folder, my test folder, select share. I'm going to click on invite a user. And this user is not in the system, user1 at cs.com. And here it says create guest user account. Create guest user account. User will have an account to access shared documents securely and may have editing roles. So I'm going to select this one and it says let system generate password. I'm going to uncheck this and I'm also going to uncheck user must change password at next login. I'm going to select my own password and I'm going to go ahead and re-enter that password and I'm going to select continue. You can specify the share expiration time from the drop down menu options. I'm going to select the one month and I'm going to give this user edit full control. And here are some notifications if you would like to receive notification. A share has been completed. I'm going to go into my management console to show you where our guest user account is created for this user. Under the dashboard, under users, you see we have one guest user. Under user manager, guest user manager, you see the guest user we just created. And I'm going to go ahead and select add guest user and I'm going to create another guest user. Remember, every one guest user account will create three guest accounts for free. So I should be able to create nine guest user accounts no more than nine. So I'm going to go ahead and create the second one and I'm just going to skip and I've created eight guest user accounts and now I'm creating the ninth one and I'm going to call it user nine just so it's easier to differentiate between the different users. I'm going to give it user nine at meadow.com as an email and I'm going to select create user and I'm able to create nine. I'm going to create one more and I should not be able to create this guest user because I had three licensed users. So I should be able to create only nine because each user gets three free additional guest user accounts. So I'm going to go ahead and complete this one, user 10, and create the user and we are not able to create it. We get this message. You have reached the user quota. Please contact administrator to increase the quota. You can purchase additional licenses and with each user license, you'll be allowed to create three additional free guest accounts. And this is how guest users are created within CenterStack. Thank you.